Alright guys, we're back on uh, another episode of the 29 Gallon Planet Tank. For some odd reason, I've lost two Rummy Noses Tetras. So I'll go out and replace those later. I don't know why, because um, water parameters are great. But um, my plants, they're looking bad. Oh yeah, I rescued a beta from uh, PetSmart. And no, the beta did not kill the Rummy Noses. Um, Everybody gets along except for that angel. You can tell that one still takes on everybody. Um, so yeah, the plants aren't looking too good. So I'm DIYing a CO2 reactor. I got a uh, brown sugar in there, a cup, two cups, two cups, uh, and a teaspoon of yeast. I just set it up like five seconds ago. Uh, floor is a little dirty. We'll clean that up later. Uh, so yeah, everybody's doing good. I don't know why the um, Rummy knows he's died. I no clue. But I've got the airline tubing going back in the, uh, hang on the back filter that way. I mean, it's not going to generate CO2 yet, but it will. And, uh, it'll go back in the, um, hang on the back filter. That way, the water will, uh, carry it and uh, diffuse more down to the water column, to the plants. Uh, air sounds. I highly recommend them. Uh, they, I mean, water, air, you know, go together. Yeah, uh, Rummy noses. I don't know what happened to the other two. Uh, maybe one died, and since you need an odd number and I had an even number, somebody took somebody out. I don't know. But check that beta out. He's um not yellow. He's white. It, it looks yellow on the camera, but he's uh he's white. He's really pretty. He's got a nice home. Uh, there will be many, many more plants come. That melon sword I talked about in the last episode. Son of a woman bought it when I got the right after I got the the neon tetras. I was paying for him. I saw a woman, uh, she, uh, bought it. But this, I think this tank can hold a lot more, uh, neons. So I might stock up on a lot more of those. So that filter will be replaced. Yeah, I had to write it down on my hand. Two cups of sugar, one tablespoon of yeast, and, uh, boil your water at, like, 98 to 100 or some. Uh, that way it'll... Something about the um, recipe, it'll do better. Um, there are other recipes out there for the CO2 generator, but I'm trying this one first. So, if that doesn't work, we'll just change the recipe around. Because I'm not going out buying uh, CO2 generators, which cost a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, you can forget that. Oh, there is a good see, he's really white. I guess when well, I got close up to the greens with the plants, it just looks yellow but yeah he's white it's pretty good uh... I don't, I don't really care about the cost but uh... he was on sale for like a dollar or something but the woman didn't know that and she brought him up around like three dollars he came from PetSmart uh, I got him the same day I got the uh, 20 gallon long in the sand he's really cool so we got the beta, the ram the ram's really nice it's not camera shy anymore. Here comes the angel. Yeah, he's cool. Might not be the prettiest, but he's cool. Uh, the black angel. Uh, some neons. They do school. Uh, all the plants are, uh, Amazons, not, eh, looking a little different. The anacrids. Uh, they're showing up a, a green, but they're more yellow, and I heard that's, uh, iron, but, uh, yeah, I put some more pungy, uh, uh pungiaton bulbs, or whatever they're called there. Uh, my beta tank, you know what, let's go to the beta tank, uh, We'll preview it, and we'll, you know what, I'll, I'll do a short video on the beta tank today, too. Uh, so look forward to that after this one gets uploaded. Uh, 
we'll have a bed tank. And we've got what else? We got another episode I'm doing today. I've already made it. It'll be uploaded before this one, I think. It's the 10 gallon reef turning into a 20 gallon. The uh, water sprites are doing very well. Uh, money warts. They've been doing well since I've got them. Uh, the tall plants in the back, they're, they're starting to take a little bit of effect to the CO2 or iron. I don't know. But I've been watching uh, Dustin, Dustin Fish Tanks and Koi Ponds. I highly recommend him. He's a cool guy. He's pretty funny. Uh, you know, I was watching some videos last night and he was talking about uh, Seachem. Seachem, uh, I might try out their products. Uh, he doesn't use CO2 reactors, so I don't know. I'm going to change my substrate to uh, black later on. Once I do that, I mean, I'm going to have to take all the water out and stuff, you know. I'm going to keep the water because, you know, the cycle is going to screw up. And I'll probably put the fish in a couple of 5-gallon buckets. And I might spray paint the back of this tank black. You know, because I've seen the tanks that uh, do that, and it really brings up the green in the plants. Ah, I see. They say you can't keep uh, rams with betas. I mean, cichlids with betas. But any cichlids aggressive. I mean, you can see the angels there. Even the black ones starting to get a little mean. But as right now, I think they're doing pretty good. That angel. You know what they might mate in the future, who knows. Uh, neon's looking great. I'm going to get some snails to get rid of that weird allergy. Kind of looks like diatoms. Might get some driftwood in here. Uh, lilies are doing great on top. Uh, let's see here. That's pretty much it. Nothing big on this tank new. Uh, just the CO2. It's, I don't, it's supposed to take like 24 hours to generate, but uh, is it? Nah, it's not. You can't even see it on the camera, but it's not even doing anything right now, so we'll see that in a couple. Alright, um, water quality is good. I mean, you can see, here's my bait, I mean my angel. Okay, boy. You know, I'm closing this from the last two videos, I think I've dropped the camera. So, bad idea on open water. Alright, stay tuned for the beta tank. I'm going to record that right now. Later, guys. Uh, comment, subscribe, and like if you like it. Later.